Gokoi bis hello mas what have I been doing? Should we talk about the elephant in the room? I've been testing out these what is it called? The Violent Lips. Yeah. From I, I think that's the company. <laughs> um I picked these up a while ago, like a long time ago, over a year ago. Um and I've been testing them out. I will <laughs> They are driving me crazy though. Um, I'm testing them out so I can review them for you guys, so hopefully in the upcoming weeks you'll see a review on them, but for now that's what that's all about. Um, but I thought it would work well with the get ready with me look that I wanted to do today because I did it, um, it was a while ago when I did the look. I was wearing Sirius, uh, that LA Splash, like blue, navy blue, um, lipstick. Um, I'll link that the whole swatch video of all the different little lipsticks down below, but um, I just wanted something really neutral so that it could go with an extreme lip. So I was like, what better day than when we're wearing these to um, to do that look. So I'm just going to get started. Um, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit closer and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm using my Vice LTD palette. The only reason being that um, I didn't it was a long, long struggle, basically, to get this palette. Um, my friend Pam, I'll link her Instagram down below, ended up buying this on eBay for me um, and sending it my way. But I'm using it just because it was such a hassle to use it. The colors you could definitely dupe somewhere else. Um, so, yeah. Let's just get into it. <laughs> um, okay, I've primed my eyes. I used uh, my Trish McAvoy um, Primer in Bare. And then I'm going to just get started. So I mixed the colors Provocateur and Last Sin. So this one and this one. Just two sort of neutral, almost rosy toned, um, uh, neutral colors. This is the Hakahodo J5523. Um, April sent me this guy. It's supposed to be a dupe for the 217. It is really close. The handle's a little bit shorter, so it throws me off because it sits a little bit differently in my hand than I'm used to. Um, but it is really lovely and really, really soft. So yeah, what I was going to say is that these two colors are not definitely unique to this palette. Any of the Naked palettes have similar shadows. You could even either, either, even pull out like a Lorac uh, Pro palette. Um, I just like the metallic nature. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? <laughs> the metallic nature of, of these ones. I haven't filmed I Get Ready With Me in English. I've been doing French and Arabic to practice my language and hang out with you guys in that way. And I'm so much chattier in English, I realize, than I am in Arabic. It's interesting. Okay, then taking this sort of chocolate brown color in Nameless on my 19 crease brush from Sephora, I'm just going to run that and blend it in uh, through the crease. I think what I like about these shadows, um, and these particular colors are kind of reminding me of the nude, now that I think about it, the nude dip, um, Quad by Tom Ford. I have a look on that one that I can link down below. What makes sort of nudish colors like this easy to work with, and then it makes it seem like you've put some effort into your eye look, even if it's just a couple steps, is the kind of really beautiful sort of metallic sheen that they have to them. Um, so... Do you guys have any go-to metallic shades that do that for you guys? Let us know down below. Okay, so on the day that I did this look, I put a light blue underneath my eyes, but I'm going to match it a little bit more to this color that I have on my lips. So I'm going to take the same lip pencil that I used to help outline these. This is in Hot Pink by NYX. Um, make sure that your I've said this before, you can use uh, lip pencils on the eyes. Just make sure your eyes don't have any eye sensitivities to them. Um, some people's eyes are... Everyone reacts differently, so just double check before you go all out with it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put that in there, and then there's a color, there's a hot pink color in this. Can you guys see it in the reflection of my mirror? I'm going to use that one to blend it out. Um, but I have been noticing that since I've been using eye pencils underneath the eyes, or even like if I don't have one that's matching, I can just take the eye base that I used on top, um, and put that on, but I need, I, I realized that the step that I always forget is to put an eye base underneath so that whatever I put on underneath my eyes doesn't just flake off. So this color is in Junk Show, right? Yeah, Junk Show. <laughs> I'm going to use that on my 239 brush uh, to blend it all away. And I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, why would you not put a base underneath your eyes? We put it on the top. Um, but it was something that I picked up when I was at uh, the Alaska Makeup School. And it was like, yeah, obviously, that makes so much sense. And now that eyeshadow blends so much easier. 
blend stays put so much longer. Okay, so the problem with putting reds or uh, pinks underneath the eyes is they can make you a little bit sick. And that is a look that I will sometimes go for. But just to show you the difference, I'm going to pop a little bit of Stila Lionfish. Yeah. Um, in there. His lips are coming apart. Um, I'm going to pop some Stila Fish uh, just to give a little bit of a disconnect. So this is a brown um, liner. You could do black. Um, just a nice dark color will help. Make a difference. So can you guys see the difference between this eye and this eye? Um, it just gives a little bit more of definition and differentiation. Okay, I'm not going to add any top liner. I'm just going to put on some mascara. Um, so let me go do that and then I'll be right back. So this is it. This is the finished look. Um, besides the lips that are driving me crazy, I'm really happy with it. I like that how when you change the color underneath, it can give it like a whole different look. So try it out. Let me know what you think and what products you use. If you don't have the Vice LTD palette, what other um, alternatives you find. I'm going to zoom you guys out and do some points of positivity. So my first point of positivity is getting to talk to my dad for a while uh, today. It was really great to hear his voice and to catch up with him. My second point of positivity is re-watching Grease last night. I can watch that movie so many times that it always makes me happy. Um, so that's my second point of positivity. And my third is a lot of great skincare empties. Um, it always makes me feel like I got my money's worth when I get through um, skincare because I rarely get through makeup. So skincare is that place where I can feel like, yes, I got every penny's worth out of this guy. Um, so yeah, that's it. As always, please let me know what's making you guys smile down in that comment section. I want to send you guys ever so much love. Thank you for being here. I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. <laughs> Bye, guys.